fancy here. Got the blue trailer. Can Guys, have, got the red trailer. Can I have one of these? Yes, you can have a yard sign. It's good for advertising, guys. So, guys, we're on our way to the first estimate. Actually, our only estimate. Woo. Hopefully, some stuff in the garage, mattress, couch, recliner. Shouldn't be too much. Quick little pickup. Get her knocked out, guys. Hey, guys, real quick. Thanks for watching. This might be a long video, and sometimes I talk, but I really appreciate you new junk removal people watching and all you longtime experts. Please comment below, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. Don't be afraid to message me or text me or call me if you can find the number in the video. Um, there's going to be a speech in here where I talk for like five minutes in the video somewhere. Um, I really appreciate you guys, and just thank you very much. It's been a great year. Um, I look forward to junk removal, and I appreciate all of you um, haulers. Well, we didn't get the estimate. That's okay. We're back now. All right, guys, so the crew got the last estimate of the day. It was a hot tub, a little bit of other miscellaneous stuff, about a full trailer, so it wasn't a bad end to the day. I think it was all together three or four jobs out of, I want to say, five estimates. We didn't get the one estimate we got um, tried to do, so that's okay. Uh, I guess we'll stick it to shop and do what we do best. Got that awesome bike back there. We got the uh, cornhole games. We got a bunch of stuff to keep ourselves busy. Looks like the guys are uh, pulling up front now. So we're about ready to call a day. If you guys haven't had a chance to already, check out the video with um, us and junk removal, uh, extreme junk removal. Had a couple quick questions about a 12 minute video there. Check it out on the uh, other videos. Check out their channel as well. Um, nice little conversation. Uh, good guys, junk removal business. Uh, we love talking about it. Anyway guys, give it a quick thumbs up. That subscribe button. All right, guys, uh, Saturday, beautiful morning. We got three estimates on the schedule today. Uh, one of the guys did not show up, so that's okay. We had a little bit of uh, putting out some fires this morning, but the crew just pulled up. We're about to head to the shop. We're going to get uh, these first couple estimates out of the way. If we hit the landfill this Saturday morning, on Saturdays, the landfill closes um, half day early around here. So um, we're about to go get now. Guys, just pulled up. Good Saturday morning, nice and bright. Getting ready, Saturday morning, get things going. Got the first uh, three estimates on the schedule today, and then the last one's gonna be a real quick refrigerator pickup. It's already on the side of the road. We're just gonna pull right up beside it and uh, get about a foot or two away from the refrigerator, and now we're just gonna tilt the refrigerator right on the side of the truck, and boom, lift it right up, and push it on. We'll be good to go, guys. Uh, got me, Jamie, Bo, and Charles this morning. It's gonna be a nice little Saturday. We might hit the landfill from some of the stuff that we just picked up last night. We did a hot tub pickup and a bunch of stuff in the garage. Get you a little before and after picture of the garage. Not able to get the hot tub, unfortunately, this time. It's all right. We're just a week away from Christmas, guys. It's, boom, it is right there. And then the year's gonna be over with. How are you guys gonna finish out this year? All right, what was your revenue like this year? Did you hit 100K? Did you hit 500K? Maybe you hit $2 million in junk removal this year. What was you guys' game plan and what's your goals for 2021? Just pulled up docket for the schedule. We're gonna be good to go. We're about to head that way. Gonna get the uh, job progress started on on the way in route. So we'll be good to go. Love the docket. Got the trailer hooked up now. We're gonna do this first estimate. Hopefully get you guys a little bit of footage. It's a Saturday, I'm gonna get out of the shop. I'm gonna get on the truck. It's gonna be four of us deep in the uh, old F-250 extended cab with the full eight foot bed, guys. Um, we don't have sides on our truck. That would make it a little easier to get stuff in and out. Anywho, we're on our way. Follow along. On the road again. On the road again. On the way to do an estimate. Saturday morning. On our way. About to pour to the Well, first estimate. Wonder if we got the job. It was a little, it was a long conversation. We'll see what Charles has to say. Hello. This is it. Yeah. Perfect. If you need to, just come straight out over the rail and it'll All right, hold give it. Give me a second, Charles. I got you. There? Yeah. Are you good to go there, Charles? Well, guys, we got the uh, third estimate. We're good to go. And then right after this, we're going to go pick up a side-by-side uh, -side fridge. 
So there you go. Um, three jobs today, not bad. I actually just got a text from a previous client about some boxes and stuff outside. So we're gonna go check that out. No, I actually just popped up on the uh, phone there. So I'm gonna go reply to them, customer service. I'm gonna try to get them to them as fast as you can and uh, show right up and just give them a quote. So there the guys are now, they're gonna go inside. It's like an ottoman in the basement and maybe some end tables. So uh, Charles is gonna get you guys a, a little before and after video and I'll put it up there guys. So get a little weekend and uh, Christmas is right around the corner. All right guys, so one of the, I guess, better tips hopefully I can give you guys, um, especially for the long run, it's just take a look at your trailers and your loads before you head to the landfill. If there's any way you can Combined, your um, you have one trailer with some stuff in it, and a little bit of stuff in the truck, and then you have you know maybe a mid full truck and trailer, and you're thinking you want to hit the landfill. See if you can't maybe combine all that stuff into one, one truck and trailer, and then you have a whole truck and trailer that you can start out go do some pickups. Maybe you can get one or two more couches on that other load before you get to the landfill. If you guys can just get one or two more jobs, as many jobs as you can get. Before you hit that landfill, that's your best bet. Not that you're not going to pay for that weight when you get to the landfill, but you can um, skip that um, minimum right off the bat. So you're already going to be there. Might as well pay for the weight, um, just the extra weight that you got. And then you're not having to go back and make a separate trip and hit that minimum again. Everybody's minimums are different. Some people have $20 minimum. Some people have a $150 minimum. Every state is a little bit different. Every county is a little bit different. So that's the best thing I could say as far as in the long run. You know, you're doing a little quick Saturday and you think you want to hit the landfill, see if you can combine it into one, and then you can um, pick up a little more stuff and then just hit the landfill Monday. That's one job, that's one day you didn't have to spend at the landfill and you got a couple extra more pickups in the mix there. So all right guys, I really hope that helps as far as revenue and saving some money in the long run. Take exit 105. Yep, gonna be for a previous customer. We got the GPS going here. And it's gonna be for just a big, uh, big boxes that the lady stuffed some stuff in and she set it out on the curb. In a quarter mile, turn right onto I-55 loop south, South Sherman Boulevard. You gotta start GPS, always getting in and out. Anyways guys, quick thumbs up, we're on our way. Got the refrigerator behind us. Got her picked up earlier. All right, all right. Another beautiful morning, it's Monday. Guess what, a couple more days, it's Christmas. That's right, presents, boxes, toys, old exercise equipment, a whole bunch of stuff. So it's getting ready to come out this way, guys. Uh, thanks for watching another video. Thanks for giving a quick thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button below. If you guys are a new drunk removal business, welcome. Uh, you know, if you're running a truck or trailer, if you got a dump trailer or dump truck, you know, that's super awesome. I uh, hope you guys didn't go running around and get yourself into a, uh, a loan just yet. Go out there, start doing some jobs, um, put some money away, and eventually you'll get there. You know, don't get yourself on a brand new um, dump trailer or a brand new uh, dump truck. Get yourself six, seven thousand, maybe even uh, twenty, thirty thousand dollars in debt just starting a business. Um, I don't know. Uh, everybody's different, though. Um, you know, if you're really confident in it and you have the um, ability to go out there and secure your good loan and um, get yourself started and you keep yourself afloat until you get some business going. You know, that's awesome. That's how a lot of businesses get started. You got to go out there and you got to put some money in. That's one of the reasons why people love um, junk removal. Junk removal, though, the low cost of entry. Really, anybody can get into it. I got into junk removal with just a car. I didn't even have a truck. I didn't even have a trailer. All right, guys, so um, you can get started with uh, junk removal really doing anything. You can start renting box trucks. You can start renting Penske trucks. You can do enterprise cars. You can talk to your brother or your dad and see if he's got a vehicle. You can get started, drink, started doing junk removal on a freaking bicycle. All right, guys, and you work your way up, start wherever you want to go, and just go there. And um, just because you start with a bicycle or wherever you're at, you guys, honestly, you could easily be doing 100K your first year. You could be easily doing two, 300,000 your next year. You could be doing a million dollars in junk removal. That's right, all right? Over $80,000 a month, over $20,000 in a week. Seven-day period, all right? It can happen. So keep following along, guys. Keep raising your inspirations. Keep raising your goals. Every day, you just got to go out there and get it, all right? If you haven't had a job in uh, one or two days, you just got to keep posting, posting, posting. Get out there and knock on some doors. Call some people. Message some people on Facebook, Instagram. Um, get on Google. Look up all the, your um, realtors in your area. 
whatever you got to do to pay your bills and get some money going in your pocket. All right, because it's uh, you know survival of this, just like any business, no matter what business you're in. If you think Walmart doesn't have a bunch of people every day waking up to make sure that their job is taken care of and that that marketing is getting taken care of, that those um, orders are getting put in on time, if that thing doesn't happen, all these million fires every single day that are going on in all these big companies. Hey, you're a little guy. You got little fires right now compared to when you get big. So. Be thankful that you're not big just yet and you ain't got a million things going on. Because it might seem stressful now trying to get one or two jobs. Um, when you get big, it's just as stressful too. Alright guys, it's just as hard to manage 100 bucks as it is to hard, uh, manage 100 million. It's just like that in any business, alright? It's just a bigger business is make it look a lot easier. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Hope you're checking out on the other videos. We have videos on uploading your first um, Facebook pages. Boosting or promoting your post, getting on Google My Business, and um, you know just a couple other things: reselling tips, how to price your stuff, shipping your things, reaching customers. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content as long. I don't want to try to talk too much on here. I know that you guys statistically only watch this for maybe a minute or two, and that's cool too. You know you don't always want to hear somebody bah, 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 bah. but junk removal. I love it. Like I said, I started with the car. Um, we got uh, three or four good guys now. We got two trucks, a couple trailers, and we have ourselves an actual shop. So, you know, that's a lot to take on. I do. I have to pay rent for the shop. I have to pay rent for my house. I have insurance for both vehicles. And auto insurance, commercial insurance, is not the same as my regular, you know, daily driver insurance. So, and I'm sure all you business people know, you know that. All the things you got to have involved with um, growing big and getting up there. Um, utilities on your personal place and utilities on your um, business place. It just all comes in. It's almost like you're paying for twice as much stuff. But hopefully you're bringing in three or four times as much revenue, too. So... Anyways, guys, we're going to get you this uh, video uploaded, get you one or two more before the Christmas holidays come. Really, guys, really hope you guys are able to uh, finish up the year strong and do well. Tax time, um, warm weather is around the corner. Just a couple more months of this uh, cold weather, and it uh, really is. It's not going to be too bad. Um, as long as you're doing fine in truck removal and you're promoting and everything, you should really never slow down. Truck removal is not, if it's cold, it's going to slow down. If it's warm, it's going to warm up. Now... And, um, you know, other businesses might be like that, lawn mowing and roofing and things like that. But with chunk removal, as long as you're doing a good work and promoting the right way, everybody has trash every single day. So you just got to find that person, find that 100 bucks. All right, guys, so keep watching, keep following along. Check out Gary V. Check out Tony Robbins. Check out um, me, Kevin. Let's see, there's a bunch of other people on there for YouTube that can really help um, not inspire you just mentally but hopefully get you motivated as far as making some money in the future um making your money make money for you while you're out there physically working i'm learning how to invest in the future maybe have some self-control and emotional discipline um there's just a lot to it life is just so hectic not even in junk removal all right you got things going on in life um with your family with your friends maybe you have kids maybe you have uh, addictions maybe you have um, prior habits you're trying to get past maybe you're trying to go through school and pay for college maybe you're starting to make a little bit of money and um, your family members are starting to hound you a little bit or maybe you're not sure what to do and every time you get a little bit of money you feel like you need to spend it um or what's the next goal maybe you're getting super busy with chunk removal and you want to step out and do something else all right there's many things in life going on comment below um, i'm here to help comment below as always and i love talking to people so if you want to message me or text me or try to find me and get a hold of me please do as always i'm jake keep watching guys thanks